Hey, how we doing? I'm Andy, this is Spider Spiders, and thanks for coming and watching. And um, today, we're gonna have a look at an order I put in this week with Spa Spiders. So, this is a couple of teas that I ordered on Tuesday night during Scott's live stream. Um, Luke and his dad were on the stream and they were generous enough to offer a discount code as well. So, you know, you don't miss out on their little opportunities like that. So, I put an order in and fair play went in on tuesday night and spa sent the order on wednesday so i was expecting it thursday and in typical royal phil style it didn't arrive till friday so uh anyway as it is as you'll see everything was fine i did contact spa they dropped me the tracker number and i could say they were brilliant about it so yeah we're going to show you what we picked up this week from spa spiders and uh i'll see you in a little while yeah so like i say this did arrive sort of 24 hours later was a little bit worried about how the contents would be because it had been cold the night before so it was a really quick unboxing as you'll see here and um, just a little check over just to make sure that what was in there was still moving now you'll see there something tucked away in that little pot Number two, now these have two different species um, and I'll sort of unveil what they are in just a second but yeah as you see there number two wasn't there you can't see it moving much but I did see the spider moving um, as I opened the, the tissue up a little bit so I knew that it was alright despite the uh, 24 hour delay in the post like So, what did we get? Well, first up, we have P. ornata, the Pisolotheria ornata, or the fringed ornamental. Now, these are probably my favourite porky, if I'm honest, and I did own one of these a few years ago. Um, I bought a sub-adult female, and she, or in fact it was a juvie female, and she reached about six inches in leg span, and then just died for no apparent reason so I've been waiting a while so I just decided to pick up another one and as you'll see here this one was actually pretty good in regards to the rehousing I was uh, a little bit worried that it might come flying out of this tissue and do laps all over either the pot or my kitchen but as you'll see it was actually pretty well behaved so there we have it, this is, as I've said, the Pisolotheria ornata, or the fringed ornamental. Now, you know, a lot of people talk about these being sexually dimorphic from a couple of inches, but I haven't managed to get a good enough view of its carapace to be able to um, see whether or not we can do that yet. But hopefully over time we'll get some good pictures and we'll be able to get a good idea of whether it's a boy or a girl like. and this is just a little shot a bit of bit later on um, it had moved and, and like you say you can see the hairs on the legs and the markings down the abdomen and everything I just thought was quite a cool shot so I'd share it with you as all if I'm asked. So yeah, there's the, the peon arter, and like I said, I did have one of these a few years ago, um, and she was stunning, she reached a really good size, about, f I don't know, about five, six inches, and then I just came in one day, and she was dead, upside down on the floor, like, so, didn't really have any idea as to what happened, and hopefully, you know, this one will manage to get to adult stage, uh, whether it be male or female, 
So, so yeah, that was the the piano, uh, the fringed ornamental, and uh, now we'll move on to the next one, and I'll show you that, and I'll see you at the end. Cheers. So yeah, next up is a genus they don't really keep a lot of. So we've got a Brachypelma aratum, or the Mexican flamey. Like I say, I don't keep a great deal of brachies myself. I've got a pair of Hamori and a pair of Boemi and an Albiceps and that's pretty much it in, uh, in regards to brachies that I've got in my collection. You see this one's a couple of inches in leg span and the Oratum is an absolutely beautiful spider so it is one that I've been looking at getting for a while. Ideally I would have liked something a little bit bigger but you know beggars can't be choosers and it is cool regardless of, of how slow they go through it is it, it is still cool just to watch a spider grow from such a small size and reach adulthood like there's a there's definitely something to that like Yeah, this one came out of its tissue pretty easy, didn't move a great deal, didn't give me any grief whatsoever and rumour has it that she's still sat there looking like that now. So yeah, there we have it, the Brachypelma auratum of the Mexican Flamney. Beautiful tea, absolutely stunning little tea and if I'm honest the pictures don't do it any full justice so as it you know, as things go on and it settles into its enclosure and hopefully it molts out and that we'll, uh, we'll get some really good shots of it a bit further down the line. Um, but yeah, as for now, you know, this is me done. This is this week's video. Thank you very much for coming and watching. Now, next week I'm hoping to do something, well, next week's video will relate to the slings that we've got sitting there in the incubator pots. I'm not sure if it's gonna be a live stream or whether I'm just gonna pop them up and uh, release that as a video. It'll be either one or the other, you know, but uh, I suppose you find out next week. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it, you know. If you uh, if you like what you've seen, you know, everything's downstairs, like subscribe, all that, that usual stuff. And uh, and I'll catch you all next time. Cheers. Ta-da. <laughs>